Tino the Dragon and the Battle of Flames Once upon a time, there was a small village where dragons lived together. These dragons all possessed a special ability to breathe fire. However, among them, Tino was different. Tino had never breathed fire before and often felt mocked by the other dragons. Leo, Tino's closest friend, always comforted him during these times. One day, a great danger befell the peaceful village. A terrifying fire monster attacked the village, consuming everything in its path, trees, houses, and people alike. The leader of the village dragons called for all to gather and defend against the fire monster. Tino also wanted to protect the village with the other dragons. However, feeling useless without the ability to breathe fire like the others, Tino sadly returned home. Leo, amidst fighting the fire monster alongside other dragons, saw Tino walking home with a heavy heart. Concerned for his dear friend, Leo decided to find Tino. Upon seeing Tino at home, Leo warmly spoke to him, Tino, you can save the village too. We can do it together. Tino shook his head, feeling defeated. Leo, I can't breathe fire. I'm no help at all. Leo grabbed Tino's shoulders, looking into his eyes with sincerity. Tino, just because you can't breathe fire, doesn't mean you're worthless. I believe you have a special hidden power. I believe you're a dragon with potential. So let's fight together. Let's discover what you're capable of. Leo's words moved Tino's heart. Leo genuinely believed in him, and that belief gave Tino courage. Tino decided he would contribute to saving the village. Yeah, let's fight together. I'll do my best, and so, the two friends resolved to confront the fire monster to protect the village. With Leo by his side, Tino felt a newfound courage. Their friendship and belief in each other filled Tino with strength. In an instant, Tino flew towards the fire monster bravely. Initially, he was overwhelmed by the fire monster's power. The monster's blazing flames were too intense, pushing Tino back. Tino struggled to stand amidst the scorching breath of the fire monster, getting burned and standing up laboriously. Tino felt his helplessness against the formidable fire monster. Can I really win? Amidst his fear, Tino heard his friend's voice. Tino? You can do it. Leo's encouragement gave Tino courage again. Thinking of Leo and the villagers, Tino resolved not to give up. I can't give up here. I can do this. Tino charged at the fire monster once more. As he circled the monster, he looked for an opportunity to strike. Then, in a moment of realization, Tino noticed a weakness on one side of the fire monster, there. Tino needed to attack that vulnerability. As he thought so, Tino felt a chilling energy rising deep within him. Feeling strange, but not frightening cold energy inside his body, Tino was puzzled, huh? What's this? As he felt the cold energy getting stronger within him, Tino's body trembled coldly, and an icy chill began to swirl in his mouth. Instinctively, he opened his mouth wide and took a deep breath. And in that moment, ice spewed out of Tino's mouth. The cold ice began to weaken the monster's fiery attack gradually. Tino felt both amazed and thrilled, I... I can do this. Realizing he had this ability, Tino fought more bravely. He repeatedly sprayed ice at the fire monster. The ferocious flames of the fire monster gradually weakened under Tino's icy attacks. The fire monster tried to ignite flames again, but it couldn't withstand Tino's ice. Tino was filled with confidence and fought with all his might. Finally, the fire monster couldn't withstand Tino's ice attacks and started to retreat, weakened. The once terrifying monster fled, and the villagers admired Tino's courage and special ability. Tino, you're a true hero. The villagers praised Tino and admired his bravery. Tino no longer felt sad for not breathing fire. Instead, 
He proudly acknowledged his own special ability, Leo, thank you. It's all thanks to you, Tino smiled brightly at Leo. Thanks to his precious friend, Tino became the hero of the village. Leo also smiled happily at Tino. All the dragons realized that each of them had their own uniqueness. Dragons who had teased Tino apologized to him, and they grew to respect each other more. And so, the village returned to peace, and Tino and the dragons lived happily, protecting the village together with their special abilities.